So let's take a look at an application. In the table that I have on the left, I have the years 1980 through 1998 and the corresponding population in thousands for Florida residents. So I have 1980, there was 9746,000 Florida residents. All the way up to 1998, there was 14,916 thousand Florida residents. So when I say 14,916,000, ,916, that means 14,916,000. Remember, we're scaling the data, so I have to take this number and multiply it by 1,000 to get the actual number. You'll see on the right-hand side that I've graphed those points, and I found the best fit line for that is y equals 285.27x plus 9,875.17. And here I've rounded everything to two decimal places. So let's use this model to determine the population in 1987. That population in 1987 corresponds to x equals 7. So if I go ahead and I substitute that into my formula, I get 285.269 times 7 plus 985.170 and that's approximately 11,872.053,000 which means 11,872,053. Use the model to determine the population in 2000. Now I have to substitute in 20 in place of x so I get 285.269 times 20 or 9,875.170, and that gives me approximately 15,580.550,000, or 15,580,550. For this data, the correlation coefficient is equal to 0.99836, meaning that this fit is very good because that number is very close to 1. Notice that it's also very, is a positive number, so that means that the line that I have has a positive slope, and we'd say that this has a positive correlation. And that means that or as the inputs increase, the outputs are also increasing.